Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding All the code used inside this video are mentioned inside the description box So if you like the work we are doing and if you're learning something from our videos please do subscribe to our channel and share it with your group because your subscription will make this type of video happen in the future So without any further ado let's get started In today's video we are going to dive into the exciting world of React development I'll be showing you how to create a powerful what you see is what you get editor using editor.js whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting out this tutorial will guide you through the process step by step so grab your favorite code editor and let's get started on building an amazing react app together so first create a react app using npx command Open app file and remove the boilerplate code. Now let's hop into website of editor.js. You'll see that editor.js using block style editor which is pretty common these days. And you can get json as output to store inside your database. Now open the initial part of the website, copy the command paste in the terminal and install the plugin. Install editor.js using npm install command in your terminal. After installing, create a component file inside source folder. Inside it, create an editor.js file. Import React library. Then import editor.js. Create a const called editor which takes a props of data on change and editor block. Inside function, create a constant as reference using the reference function of React. Reference to store the editor.js instance. Then we use the effect function which runs the function after the component mounts. Then we check if the editor has been already created or not. If not new, we create an instance of editor.js. Inside it, we provide the value of its initializer. Like holder, which takes the reference of ID of the div which it's going to target. Then data which helps editor.js to render according to user created it. OnChange is an asynchronous function which saves the editor data and calls the onChange prop. Add a return statement which cleanups function that destroys the editor.js instance when the component unmounts. Add this function inside use effect part. Then return a div with an ID of editor block part. Then finally export our editor function inside memo function which helps a component to memoize the component preventing unnecessary re-renders. Now inside main app file import our editor file. Then use state for data and set data inside editor.js file set it as null value. Then use editor.js component and add necessary props. Then 
Oh, in return ID of our editor, we make a typo. And inside the use effect, we have to set current as editor. Now let's check out some amazing plugins of Editor.js made by community members. Let's add header and checklist to our editor, but you can add more as you require. First, install using npm command. Then create a file called tool inside component folder. Inside import header. Then create an export constant. And add header inside it. Then inside editor file. Add tools parameter and add constant name inside it and also import the file. Now you can see that we can also add heading and modify it as well. Now let's add checklist. Use npm command to add. Import checklist inside the tools file and then add parameter. So finally, we are able to add checklist also. We can also provide initial data to editor in the form of object and it will render that. Let's create a constant as initial data. Then add some objects inside it like header and title. Then add this value inside use state part. So here we can check that we are able to see the data. Now do some styling to our editor. Open app.css file. Inside it in class editor, add some box shadow. Background padding within margin. Check the body background color. Similarly, add some style to the editor container. Now add a button inside app.js file. Inside it, we can add an action. When user press it, it will show a console log of data.
add some style to edit a button as well. So finally you can see that we are able to check data inside the console log. Thank you guys for sticking around till the end of the video. I really hope that you found this tutorial on building what you see is what you get editor using editor.js and react really helpful. You can check more amazing tools for creating a more awesome editor using editor.js plugin website. All the links and the source code used inside the video is mentioned inside the description box. If you really enjoyed the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Feel free to leave any questions or feedback in the comment section below. And yes, let us know what you liked or disliked about this video in the comment section. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. And yes, do not forget to suggest some more topics. For now, I'll be signing off. We'll definitely see you all in the next video.